Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am in Texas at the moment visiting my friend Eric and um, I have to paint so I can't go <laughs> I can't go a full week without painting. So I've ordered some supplies from Michaels. Um, their Autosloth brands were on sale. Buy one, get the other 50% off. And it's not a brand that I used to usually work with, so I thought I would try that. Um, and uh, so I've got um, a color palette that is inspired by my friend Mina. She just did a, a fantastic um, triple grenade pour that she called Frangipani with very similar colors. So I'll go through those right now. Artist Loft, Deep Yellow, Orange, Brilliant Magenta, and Violet. And I also have uh, some Deep Violet from Liquitex Basics because it's one of my favorite colors and it looks great with this color palette. And then for white, I'm also using Artist Loft um, soft body, body acrylic paint and um, so I am going to do a straight pour today a wandering straight pour and I'm going to push my paints this direction and then come back and pull it this direction this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas I have a 15 ounce cup so I'm going to attempt not to fill it all the way to the top but we shall see and uh, so I'll just go ahead and get started. I'm going to put a little bit of the white in the bottom. It's a little breezy out here in the in the backyard. He has seen my video, so he would not let me set up inside. I had to go outside. <laughs> not that I can blame him. Uh, fluid art is very messy. Um, so I'm going to go with the white and then I'm going to go into the yellow. And orange. And then magenta. So the violet. Deep violet. A little bit of orange right next to the violet, deep violet. yellow again. My cup is almost full already and I wanted to do a couple of layers. Oh well. Um, let's go ahead and put a little bit of red on top of that or that magenta. There we go. Okay here we go. I'm going to start here and I'm going to wander this way and I'm going to wander back this direction and if I need a flow extender I'll water down one of my other colors. So we're going to start right here.
here's a close-up of my wet results. This was a lot of fun. These colors, um, this color scheme is definitely out of my comfort zone. There's not a single blue to be seen. <laughs> But I think it turned out really cool. I love the, the way these lines stretched out. Uh, it's very vibrant. Um, and because all of my paints tonight were mixed with mix pour, I got some really great transparency in here. See if I can zoom in and see the, the details. I love this little section right here. See how that um, white is lying on top? and the colors are showing through, that transparency is gorgeous. Really, really nice. Very, very happy with that. I love all of these lines up in here. Be very interested to see how this dries with these Artist Loft paints. I did notice that since I have one Liquitex Basics um, color in there that I'm used to, uh, and these Artist Loft brand that I'm not, the Artist Loft, I needed twice as much paint to make the same amount. Look at all those beautiful fingerlings in there, so nice. I love the texture of a straight pour, wandering straight pour like that. Um, I, I noticed that I had to use twice as much paint. So these Artist Loft paints, while they seem cheaper, I had to use twice as much in order to get the same pigment density as the Liquitex Basics. But I love how these colors have blended. There's absolutely no mud that I can see. Very, very happy. I hope you like this also. And uh, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. So here we have the dry results. This dried beautifully. I'm actually really happy with this. I really love these long straight lines coming down there. It looks, makes it look like uh, the motion is going up this direction. And these sections over here with the violet and orange and the white, really beautiful. I love this area here. And all of this up in here. You gotta love orange if you, <laughs> for this painting, it's definitely the, uh, the dominant color. But yeah, this dried really well. I, I'm, I'm amazed. I left this um, outside on the patio and it was dry in about three hours. That does not happen to me in Costa Rica. <laughs> but it's dry and hot here, so it sucked all the moisture right out, but absolutely no cracking or crazing or anything like that. Kept it in the shade. So thanks again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back and see me sometime.